Hi, PGCBL fans. My name is Aiden Jolly. I am alongside Albany Dutchman head coach Nick Davey as part of our team preview series, previewing all 16 teams across the PGCBL. Nick, thanks for joining us. No problem. Thanks for having me, Aiden. Yeah, so you are the second longest tenured head coach in this league. You've been in Albany for a number of years. Just first off, uh, you know, what does that mean to you and being back for another season? <clears throat> well, I, you know, I appreciate, uh, you know, I appreciate you, you throwing that out there of how old I am now, you know, with how <laughs> I'm in the league. but, um, you know, it always seems that we're uh, one, one, just one year, one step behind Amsterdam, like, like I am uh, in the, um, you know, service years for PGCBL because Keith has got me by one year up in Amsterdam. So, um, that's how I, that's how I always remember how many years I've been in the league. I just, uh, just asked Kim how many he has and I subtract one. So, <laughs> but, um, honestly, it, it's, it's been a pleasure to be, um, you know, around this level of baseball. I, um, I stepped down from the college of St. Rose, my coaching career, um, you know, and then kind of got right into this and, and fell into it actually. Um, I was supposed to be their pitching coach and then a, um, their head coach that they had hired about a week before the season had a, a little bit more responsibility come upon him in a job that he had. And they asked me, um, you know, kind of because they had no other option now late in the year, uh, what I thought about taking over. And I was like, absolutely. So it was right in my backyard. You know, I'm from, I'm from the capital district. I'm from Waterford and, uh, you know, it's, it's always been something I followed and, uh, you know, was supposed to play in the league way back uh, when it was the NYCBL, um, but had an injury over the summer, so I couldn't. And, um, you know, it's just, it, it's the best amateur brand of baseball. And I've, um, I'm happy that I've been able to spend the last 12 summers, uh, you know, coaching, developing and uh, enjoying great baseball. Yeah. How is uh, the team looking for this year? Just, uh, you know, do you have some returners you can tell us about, some newer guys that are uh, coming in for the summer? Sure. I can um, – a lot of that information I can't divulge yet because we okay. haven't announced our, all our players. But what I can tell you is um, this is a team – I mean, one of the, the highest amount of returning players we've ever had. Uh, we have okay. eight returning guys from last summer, which is – you know, it, it's it's a couple things. It it's a reminder um, to us as an organization and myself and my coaching staff that we're doing the right thing, that kids want to come back, that amount of kids want to come back and play for us uh, again. Um, so that's where we're really happy about that. We have five pitchers and three position players returning. Um, and I, I think, I think we're going to be young. I, I think we're going to be young, which isn't a bad thing. Um, it's not the youngest team I've ever had on paper, but um we, we will be inexperienced. So um, that, and all that means to me is opportunity, right? Um, you know, we talk about all the time that these guys, they, they come through the year and um, the ones that, the ones that are playing, you know, the older kids that you get that are everyday guys and starting pitchers, you know, there comes a point in the summer where, where they tend to get tired, right? I mean, it's right. only obvious they played a full season. They play, um, you know, now, uh, uh, you know, now they're playing upwards of 30 plus games, you know, uh, in, in, you know, by the end of June, um, not really end of June, but mid July and they're, they're tired, you know, so I don't mind being young in the, in, in the sense that hopefully these guys are a little bit hungrier, you know, they, um, you know, they know what they need to get out of the summer and they need, they need this experience as much as we want them here, you know, so we'll be able to see some real development, hopefully from day one, today uh you know today 60 and um i tell them all the time it doesn't matter what our record is uh you know after the first two weeks we'll um we'll get a real indication of where we're at by like july you know right around that july 4th 5th mark and um by that time they should all have their their feet wet and um you know some roles should be you know we, we should have a little clearer role on roles and and whatnot and when i talk about that just like the pitching side of it you know so um, but oh, I'm really looking forward to this group. Um, the coaches that we've talked to spoke very highly of the guys that we have on our roster and, uh, can't wait to get them here. What type of brand of, uh, baseball do you think you guys will, uh, be playing some strengths of the team? Um, I think if you ask other coaches in the league, uh, what we've done and what I've done for quite some time is we, we like to play a, um, a fast paced game. 
you know, I'm not, uh, I'm not a small ball guy. I'll just say it. I'm mm -hmm. not a, I don't, um, I don't discourage or, or, you know, look down upon the, the bunt, but, um, we, we very rarely will bunt. Um, and, and we, we like to be very, very ultra aggressive on the base paths. Uh, I, I think for probably the last three or four years or, or three out of the last four or four out of the last five, we've, we've been in the top two of, uh, stolen bases. We broke the stolen base mark, um, a couple years ago, um, you know, for the league and in individual stolen base mark as well. So I just like to play fast. I, I like to, I feel like these guys are, um, kind of, you know, there, there's some, there's some restrictions put on them at their schools, right? They, they, they don't, they're not allowed to do as much and I'm not, um, I'm not afraid to let them fail. Right. I want them to learn their game. I want them to learn the game. I want them to become, um, you know, I just want them to become just, just better all around baseball players. And, uh, you know, I think by letting, by giving them some, some uh, freedom and letting them dictate what happens, I think they, they learn the game a little bit more. And that's what summer's baseball is for. They need to go back better than what they were. And if you're a base runner, you know, um, with the freedom that you have here doing it, I, I think it, it really helps you. You become a, a, a more aggressive and a, a smarter base runner. And, and that's what we are here. We're, we're going to pitch. You know, we, we did not pitch very well last summer. Um, and um, even someone as young as my son, you know, who's eight years old and is in a dugout all the time, he, uh, you know, he, he, he told me, he's like, Dad, your pitching staff wasn't as good as it normally is. And it's like, so, so when you're eight year old, when, when he recognizes that, you know, um, that's where we started. You know, we had to start on a mound and we knew that. Um, but, uh, but again, a lot of that was through a COVID year last year not having much experience and then guys not having an opportunity during school, we were real behind the eight ball. So hopefully, hopefully things are a little different this year. And, um, you know, I would say if you watched us for the first week of the season, you would probably be able to tell that we're built around pitching and, and, you know, our offensive philosophy is just, um, play hard, play aggressive. And, uh, you know, I'm not a big guy like, like Joe Madden, right. Um, I would probably say I'm in the, in his category, he, he's, um, he's a guy that's not, he's not a guy that's like a, afraid to make the last out at third base. Right. Uh, right. And, and I'm not either. I want, I want our guys to, to trust themselves on the bases and not be afraid. And if they hesitate to break it down and, and just, and just stop, you know, so it's just teaching them, <clears throat> teaching them to be, be free and play fast. That's all. Yeah. I want to circle back to something that you said earlier um, with, you know, finding your stride in early July, how important is it to be playing your best baseball at the end of the season in mid late July after that uh, July 4th, July 5th day? It, it's whoever's the healthiest, whoever, you know, is playing the best in the last two weeks of the season usually wins this thing, you know, and, and the first part of it is probably the most important, the healthiest, right? I would tell you that over the last, <clears throat> I don't know, five, six, seven years, I could probably go back and say the team that won it was probably because they were the healthiest at that point or had the most pitching still around, um, you know, and Saugerties last year was was the healthiest and, and they were playing the hottest and they they believed in themselves and, and they were they were a very good team. They were a very good team early and they were a very good team late. And, you know, I know they had some guys leave, but they they played they played their their hearts out and they deserved it. They really did. My last question to you is uh, what can you say to the Albany fan to try to encourage them to come out to games this summer? Uh, you know, we're, we're in a, we're in a great niche community in Gilderland um, at our ballpark. Gilderland has been our probably not probably Gilderland has been our biggest supporting community since day one, since I've been, you know, been here with the Dutchman since we've been at Bleecker stadium um, and taking a tour here of stadiums, but they, being in, being in Gilderland is the, uh, I think now the, uh, it has solidified us a little bit. Um, I think we're welcomed there. I know we have a community that has stood by us and supported us. And you feel that, you know, you feel that in our games, uh, our game attendance, you feel that in our host families, you feel that 
in our post-game meals. You know, you you feel all that support from this community. It's been a community that I've been tied to for, for quite some time. I coached high school baseball over there with my high school coach, uh, Coach LaValle. Um, you know, so it's just been a community that I have wrapped my arms around for a long time now, especially baseball wise. They love the game of baseball. Um, and I think they have expectations for us. You know, they are a, um, they are a strong baseball community. And I think when we, we came in, um, you know, to their, to their facility last year, I think they had some expectations for us, which is awesome. And, um, you know, that's why I think we want to keep upgrading what we do. Um, we haven't had a losing season in I think seven years now. Um, and it's just, we know what we have to do to, to win a championship, uh, the type of player that we need to bring in. And, you know, we, we also try and keep as many local guys as, as we can that, that we feel can help us win that championship. And I think this year, I think if I was to look real quick, I think we got seven or eight local guys and um, a couple from Gilliland. So it's going to be our, 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 our fans, our support, you know, from that community of Gilliland. I, I can't thank them enough. And, um, you know, hopefully they're looking forward to us playing our first game as much as I am. That sounds Dutchman. great. That sounds great. Nick, I appreciate you uh, joining us and taking a few minutes here to talk. No, thank you. It's, it's been a pleasure. Great, great. Uh, be sure to follow the PGCBL on all of our social media pages. And for more content, go to pgcbl.com.